I am shooting him from inside of my home <laughs> instead of in my car. But I sit in front of the window so I can get the beautiful sunlight and just really enjoy looking outside. So I want to talk about when enough is enough regarding parental alienation, being used and abused by your children, that we all have. We all have to hit rock bottom before we can say, that's it. I'm done with you digging the hole. I'm done with you digging my grave. I'm done with you throwing, you know, mud on top of me or dirt or whatever. I'm done. And I'll, I'll give you an example. It was, it was from my second marriage. Um, this was years ago. And I met someone who, uh, you know, had, had his own challenges. And I thought since I had done some interventions, I was uh, interventions regarding drugs and alcohol and all that. I'd done some, uh, I'd helped other people and I thought I could help my, my then husband. And I thought I, if I can just save him, everything will be good. Well, after four years, I finally decided I am not Jesus. I was not put on this earth to heal or save you. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I, I am a human being. I have too much to deal with of my own. Trying to deal with his problems prevented me from taking care of myself. And he was an adult. You know, some people will do so much to say, you know, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get better. And then it just doesn't happen because everyone around them has always enabled them or taken care of them. And so I had to make the decision that I couldn't do it anymore. And I had to break free. So when is it okay when do you give yourself permission to break free? And I say when you have exhausted yourself to the point where you, you just can't, you can't do it anymore. You've been weighted down. You've tried. You've reached out. You've said, I'm sorry. And that person has not reciprocated and said, you know what? I, you know, I'm ready to have a relationship. And I'm ready to start something new and move in a positive direction. My kids left, and I've said this before 10 years ago, and then my youngest daughter has three children, and I knew she had two. And then I, I found her address, and I thought, well, you know, she has two children, and I am going to, I had just learned how to crochet, and I'm going to crochet them baby blankets. And one was pink and purple, and one was blue and green, I think. <laughs> this is a while ago. When I thought, well, I'm going to make them blankets, and I'm going to send them to her. And I'm going to hope and pray that this opens the door. And that my grandchildren will have these blankets. And it will give them something positive. You know, a peace offering. And I sent the blankets out, and that was it. I'm going to talk a little bit louder because my heat just kicked in and it's right below my phone. So I'm just going to talk a little louder. So anyways, I sent the blankets out, didn't get them back. And I thought it was a good sign. I thought eventually she'll reach out, etc. So then I went and found, I went to this estate sale and found a ton of these little tykes toys, these ride on toys and these, these things that were just, I, I don't know, a friend of mine said, you know, just whatever. So I, I sent three boxes of stuff to my daughter, hoping that she would allow her children to play with them. They were all clean and in really good shape. And then one day I, I look on, I get home and there are some boxes and I'm, it's the boxes of toys I sent her. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. And then after that, I received the blankets back and a certified letter, letter that said, don't contact us anymore. We don't want to hear from you. We don't want anything. We realize you're just trying to reach out, but cease. You know, don't contact us again. And it was at that point in time when I said, I am done. I have had enough. I am, I'm, 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 I'm done. And what I did was I, a friend of mine had just had a granddaughter and I mailed her out the blankets and I said, I hope your grand, and she had a, she's very close to their grandchild. So, and now she has a grandson. So she has since gifted the blankets 
to her grandchildren to enjoy and I gave the toys away to someone else in need and I finally said I, I you know like in my previous marriage I, I am not Jesus I am not here to heal and save you and I did enough I have done enough and I had to finally say I'm it's done and I had to accept the situation as it was and I had to release it and say I, I did my best as a parent I'm going to believe that what I did was good enough and that you will survive and my door is open it's not like I closed the door uh, but you have to knock on that door for me to answer it. it there's no knock <laughs> that's just the way it is so I release myself from choosing to reach out and get basically slapped in the face and I had to say I'm 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 going to invest in people who love me and people who want to be in my life, who appreciate me, who respect me, and most important, know my value and know my worth. And that's what I did. So I'm not gonna go into much else regarding the situation with my daughter, but all I know is that enough is enough. I tried, I did save the letter that my daughter sent that said, that's it, we don't wanna hear from you. I saved the letter because if my grandchildren, when they reach out and they ask, why did you not try to contact us? I'm gonna say I did. I did try to contact you. I did try to have a relationship with you. I reached out to your mom. I I, I begged, I, I did my best, but it was your mother's choice to disconnect and to cease having a relationship. So one day, if my grandchildren reach out, I will let them know that if they want to get to know me, they're more than welcome. And hopefully they can get to know me different from what they've been told. And that's all there is to it. So enough is enough. Invest in people who love you. Let go of the rest and let go of the guilt and shame of what you could or could not have done different as a parent. Do not allow people to abuse you. Be done with it, move on and enjoy your life. So I hope everyone has a good day and we'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.